So I don't know if you can see it on the video because they just ducked behind the shed. Uh, but I came out here to check on my chickens and I just saw the most amazing thing. Uh, it was a mama quail leading about eight little chicks into my shed. And uh, there was the quail again peeking out at me. I, I think the male is on the fence checking things out, watching guard. Um, this is pretty cool. The baby chicks were probably no bigger than baseballs. Uh, I didn't have my phone, so I had to run in and get it. I'm going to try not to bother them too much, but uh, there's there he is on the roof. I'll try to zoom here. I'm uh, sorry for shaky. I don't have a tripod. So uh, these are wild birds, I think. I have no idea where they could have come from. I'm going to go to the shed and see if... Uh, See if I can see these babies without being too much of a bother. And hopefully the uh, birds don't panic. Now, I think they were going in the shed because I have bird seed in there and chicken feed. Yeah, they're still in there. Oh, they are so small. Uh... You can't see because of the light. I'm going to try to get close enough without terrifying them. So there's the mama bird in my shed. And uh, the babies are over by my bike. And they are just, they are tiny. You can't really see them because the pedal is in the way. There they go, by the wheel. So they're they're hiding. I'm going to try to see them without flushing the mama out. Uh, but this is it's pretty cool. I've got a whole family of quail here in my shed. You can see some chicken feathers on the floor that have blown in, but... Here I got chick starter and uh, bird seed and uh, sunflower seeds for my chickens that apparently, because I left my sh uh, shed door open, that they found them. There goes mama. Really pretty bird. I'm wondering where they came from. And she just went out that hole in my shed and just abandoned her babies here with me. Clearly, she's probably going to call to them, I would imagine. But, uh, I don't know if these are wild or if they escaped. But I am going to try to get in so you can see these. these. These guys are tiny. These are probably day-old quail chicks, and they are all hiding behind a 2x4. I gotta move. There they go. They are so fast. One got out. I'm gonna try to move this. And they're gonna run. There they go. Speed demons. Little ground birds. Now you probably can't see it on the video, but they all have that funny quail feather. There's one left that is gonna take off. Now, later, dude. And so, still there they go out the door. There goes the last two. And they're gone. You can see them. I can see them there through the hole in my shed. Looks like my camera can't adjust quite enough to compensate for the bright light outside, but uh, there we go. So I'm going to try to get another peek and make sure they get with their mama. And there they are back there.
Now they're trying to get back in my shed. And they all went back in. And they're just hiding out. So we'll see if we can get a zoom. There they are. And they are fast. They, uh, they're not slow like chicken chicks, like when I had chicks. They are surprisingly fast. So there's a papa bird. Still watching guard on my fence. It's not really bothering my tomatoes or anything. And uh, mama quail found them. Now I'm, I'm wondering how these birds got here because they can't fly. Um, I don't know if they nest on the ground. But uh, I've got a pile of junk over here. And uh, a couple of these birds are trapped in my hardware cloth. I'm going to try to let them out here. And I would say that they've probably got a nest in here that I don't want to disturb too much. And there he goes, a little high-speed demon. You cannot see him because my camera can't adjust fast enough, but let's see if there's any more. I don't hear them. But there they go. So now they're probably in my shed again. And I apologize for the crappy video quality here, but uh, no nest. But a uh, big wasp come out of there. That's nice. So now I'm going to see if they're in my shed. Which they most definitely are. Mama. really blends in in the dark. I don't know if you can see that there. But uh, it's the first time I've ever seen these birds. Awfully tame. Letting me film from over here. Again, hard to see. Yeah, she's uh, poking around there. I definitely don't mind them being in here, but I do have some chemicals and stuff that luckily are not on the floor, but they would not be good for those birds to eat. And it would probably be ideal not to have bird poop in here because this is where I store my chicken feed. So, not sure where the babies went. Oh, they're in here too. So, So I'm going to squat down for a couple reasons. One, the mama quail does not seem to mind me being here so long as I am kneeling or still. And so I'm going to try to get propped and, uh, and she just left as I took a step closer. A few baby chicks still here.
on again. Curiously tiny little birds. So you probably can't hear it on the video, but uh, just outside the back wall of my shed here, uh, approximately in that direction, if it was see-through, uh, I can hear mama birds and baby birds talking to one another. So I think I've stressed these guys out enough, but uh, trying to decide, probably throw some bird seed on the ground back between the shed and the wall where I saw them. And, uh, Hopefully they grow up and don't turn into tasty treats for any of the neighborhood cats.